Hey YouTubers, back here again with another collection video for you guys. I pulled out some more favorites from my collection to show. Um, like I said before, I'm going to try to do this, do a video like this at least once a week. Um, so yeah, let's get started. We got um, the Maze of Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, number one, uh, J. Scott, J. Scott Campbell, Variant Edition. Um, beautiful, beautiful cover here. Try to pull, a little, try to pull out a little bit of everything uh, for this video. Cool uh, variant. Here we got Showcase 73. This is the first appearance of uh, the Creeper. Um, covered by Steve Dicko. Created by Steve Dicko. I love the purple on this book with the yellows. Crazy character. Here we got House of Secrets 92. This is uh, the first appearance of Swamp Thing. I'm thinking about getting this one pressed. This one has a crease. You know, down the middle of it, and um, uh, it's a nice presenting book overall. Just had that that crease. Well, I'm glad to have this one. I have this one for a while. Crazy how much this one goes for nowadays. Next, we got Conan number one. Love this book here. I like the Conan series. Some great stories in it. <laughs> Next, we got uh, my giant size X Men number one. This is a book that I bought off a of heritage um, back in the day. I got this in a lot with a bunch of other Bronze Age X Men books. So I'm glad to have this one. Decent grade on that. We got the first appearance of Sabretooth, Iron Fist number 14. Another book I've had for a while. I completed my Iron Fist series uh, last year. I think it ran 15 issues. Here we have Marvel Premiere, number 15, first appearance of Iron Fist. This is a book that I have uh, a few copies of. I also have a CGC 7.0 of this book. Something about the colors on this book that I, just, uh, I gotta keep picking it up when I can. <laughs> I think I have three or four copies of that. You have Nick Fury number one. Just a Ranko cover. Nice, cool book to have. Next we have uh, Marvel Spotlight number five. First appearance of uh, Johnny Blaze, Ghost Rider. Found this one at a local shop a few years back. They were having a half off sale and I grabbed that. They, had, they actually had two issues at that time. I, I picked up both and I sent one to a friend. So I kept this one. This one was the nicer of the two. Also from that same shop, I picked up uh, this Avengers number 57. First appearance of the Vision. This one's a nice gray too. And here we got Avengers number one. One of my, definitely one of my favorites in my collection. My Avengers run is complete from one to 100 for now. I'm thinking about going from 101 to 200. I think I might do that. Glad to have this one. Next we got some horror books. We have uh, Strange Adventures number uh, 110. Because it's a classic cover. The Hand from Beyond. This one's a this one's a pretty tough book to find. Some of those Strange Adventure books are uh, pretty tough to find. Here we have a Bernie Wrightson cover here. Um, I think this is DC 100 Super Spectacular number four. Or is it Weird Mystery Tales? One or the other. But a cool cover. by uh, Bernie Wrightson from 1971. Next we got this magazine is Haunted, number 19, another uh, classic Steve Ditko cover. Most of the, uh, the books in this series are pretty tough to find. Next we got a couple of LB Co's. Shout out to uh, DS Comics, I know he loves his LB Co's. 
Here we have um, The Horrors, a mystery number 13 from 1953. Sometimes I like to put the date on the front here or the year. Very cool uh, LB Co cover. Kind of a tough book to find, but this next one is definitely tough to find. Here's a uh, Go Through Weird Stories number 122. I think this is supposed to be from 1954, 944. <laughs> Put the wrong date on there. Awesome, awesome. Uh, it'll be co cover. The Death Ship. Very, very tough book to find. Alright, we got a couple of magazines. Uh, we got Greed issue number six. This is the first appearance of Milk and Cheese. This is kind of tough book to find too, especially uh, in high grade because of the black. Mines have a few things on the side here, but I'm glad to have this one. Next, we have my uh, Vampirella special. This is a soft cover. There's also a hard cover with the same uh, cover to it. Tough book. Uh, the hard book is tough to find. I've seen uh, quite a few of the soft covers here. But I like having this one. And the last magazine here is my Vampirella number one. Really glad to have this one. First Prince of Vampirella. Uh, Frank Vizetta cover here. Awesome. All right, I got a few uh, mag uh, CGCs here for graded books. Move these out the way really quickly. All right, we have Scatterbrain number one. This is a homage, Mafana homage cover. This is one of the tougher homage covers to find. Now this is in the 8.0. This is the only copy of I've seen. I've never seen another copy of this one. And uh, the cover is by Kevin Conrad. So if you see one of those, definitely snag it. Tough book to find. Uh, we have uh, some few ECs. I think the rest of these are ECs. Um, most of my ECs I picked up last year. Here is Weird Science number 17. Awesome Wally Will cover here. Just love the detail he has here with the alien and the, the people here. This one is from um, 1953. One of my favorite Wally Wood covers. Next we got Tales from the Crypt number 22. This is also another classic Al Feldstein cover. Classic cover here. This Tales from the Crypt is kind of hard to find. Uh, I don't, I've seen very few of these go up for sale. Awesome book to have. I actually purchased this one off of um, Instagram from a collector. This one and the next one here I purchased from the same Instagram. Um, we have a Weird Science number 5 from 1951. This is a classic uh, atomic explosion cover. That's what it says here. By Al Felstein. It's definitely one of my uh, favorite rare science covers. 96.0. Really glad to have this one. I actually have another copy too. That's raw. Alright, two more here. We have a uh, weird science number 16. Uh, awesome classic Wally Wood cover. Nice 5.5. Uh, Off white pages. Off white to white pages. And the last one here we have a uh, Shock Suspense Stories number 6. This is a classic bondage cover. I got this one in a nice 5.5. This is also a Wally Wood cover. Really, really glad to have this one. All right, that's it for this uh, this week's video. Um, I'll be putting up another one next week, sometime next week. Um, thanks for watching. You guys have a good one. Later.